Linny, are you okay? <sighs> I'll be fine. They're all here now. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? You don't look all right. My hands and feet are still a bit weak, but that's probably just the residual effects of the tranquilizer shot. I'm back, everyone. Oh, she's fine. Lenny! Oh, Traveler, Paimon, you're here too. Remine? Is he... He'll be fine. But for now, please help me lift him up. Hey, buddy, you find your pain in this game properly. His breathing's beginning to slow down. Give me a hand and help me get him to the infirmary. Yeah, I'll take him from this side. Lynette, together? On it. Traveler, you seem pretty worried about him. Want to come with us? No, no, no. We have to, to discuss with you. I'm not gonna try to say his name. You know, the Walden, we're gonna have a chat with him. The Duke and Clarand are gone. They probably went to get some tea. Huh. The Duke will explain the truth in just a bit. Miss Clarand will need a break, since she only just returned from rescuing Fremenay out of the sea. Man, I cannot wait to gotcha for her. Oh, we get the farm, eh? That we gonna get a flashback. But no, no, no. Where's Ishi? Aha, bingo! Could I tempt you with some sugar for your tea? No need. Don't be joking on me. Could I tempt you with some sugar for your tea? No need. Okay, what is stopping us to just go up here and ask him for some answers? You know what? Johnny is the new Walden, and now he wants some answers. Okay, I guess we have to exit this, but... Awake! Fremini, how do you feel? <sighs> Lenny... Lynette... We're all here. Uh, where... am I? The infirmary, at the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremini. And you are no longer in any danger. How do you feel? Don't push yourself if you're not feeling up to it. Uh, traveler, Paimon, it's been so long. Uh, the sea, there's something wrong with the seawater. Shh, it's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No, listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular seawater. I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. Okay, but wasn't the idea that if you touch it, you turn to water? How in the world do you survive? You better explain this he's not for them because I'm not gonna just accept Oh, maybe he's not for them. I better have the answer tell that just guess you. Pipes. Uh... Right, the pipes. It's all coming back to me now. I'm in. Hmm. Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. It looks abandoned. Hmm. 
<sighs> Where could Master Child be? Okay, I want to check some. Where's his vision? <laughs> Wait, did you give him the crate one? Okay, where's his vision? Let me have a look. Ah, there he is. Is it, is it me or is it more than user? Ah. Oh. Maybe one day I gotta get him in the gacha, but yeah, he's a fun. He got this in Fontaine at the very least. mechanism looks like it's been tampered with could he have done it i'm actually surprised he's still intact because he most likely break it Stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Going down again. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. Oh, I'm actually curious when he swims actually get his emetal and before I, I'm not sure we're gonna fight so let me at least try his Yeah, I need to hit Yeah, he cannot use the art thing with even cryo damage or physical damage Let's see No, oh, he's uh, white uh, energy. Oh, come on, you cannot make a gimmick where he puts his helmet on. Come on, the one diver that actually has a helmet. Hmm. The vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them, and recently. I should be going in the right direction. There are traces here too. I need to keep going. Huh? A 
traces are gone, but I don't see where he could have gone from here. Uh, wait, what the? Uh, uh. <sighs> My heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? Put the helmet. No good. I have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. I mean, this feels like very really sorry because you have a little diver and you don't have a gimmick where he poses a helmet. I mean, come on, is that hard to call it? That's really a point when you question how basic they have to go. I can't die here. This, this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. I have to push on. Oh, what is she doing? Okay, I cannot take this BS. From what we learn, if you touch not even the primordial one, there's literally a cutscene actually in that. If you very touch it, you touch the water. How in the world do this so survive? Hmm. So, in other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone. But there was also no obvious place for him to have disappeared to. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back. But I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that, and you know the rest. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress, or why she went out to save you. Miss Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too weak from an A. You can go after you've had some more rest. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Cloran will stay here as a guest for another few days, so there's no need to hurry. A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able to explain better than me. Then you could talk to him right away. Yeah. Actually told us what's going on. Wanna come with us, Lenny? Uh, no, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Lenny. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. <laughs> Understood. Then, let's just sit together for a while. In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The Traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. I... I'm so sorry, Lenny. I'm also really sorry, Lenny. I should have been more careful. Don't say that. It was all my fault. <sighs> I was the one who should have been more careful. You two were nearly... If I was stronger, maybe I would have already found Master Child. No, how can you say that? Huh? I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> What I'm hearing is, we all dropped the ball at some point during the mission. 
So the responsibility falls on all of us. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. It's on all of us. <sighs> Lenny, we understand that you're worried about us, but we're worried about you as well. Please don't blame yourself. We want you to keep your spirits up. Yeah. Okay, notice a little the hands of Lynette and Femenel anyway. White. Come on, just a little down. I mean, come on. I know that coding is hard, but come on, how basic you have to go. I try to not comment too much, but come on. This is supposed to be like the most. Shut up, Johnny. This is supposed to be the most profitable game ever, and so far, it's still keeping basic. I mean, come on. Devil in the detail. Oh boy. I mean, think that in the last mile of this, we're gonna have so much energy. Excuse me! I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Of course! I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but... Might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? I wanted to check up on Miss Cloran. How are you feeling? Mostly fine, I think. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now, then. No, don't go. Oh. Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? Yeah, please explain. <laughs> of course, but I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? Please, Ethan, where are you gonna go? Just please explain. Mm, where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Then Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Hmm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape, but in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. Yes, yeah, son. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about is the answer. So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you? You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremenet has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. So... We surrounded by the primordial seawater, another normal one. The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Are the rumors true that you're also a former criminal? Now why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. Oh, right! Paima wanted to ask, who invited Clarence down here? Me, of course. I paid her good mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. Huh? I don't see her claim be the kind of person to achieve any kind of work for money. Like, I see her just a person of justice, but... 
I think there's a conflict of what we know, what we can assign. Maybe he, this is a lie? Sometimes this game doesn't know what to do. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. Yeah, but doesn't it say how in the world she can just swim in that water? The I... I better hear explanation at the end of this story, and not in the next update, now. And saving Fremenay was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremenay. But we've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yes. Yeah, Paimon really wants to know. Even if the truth may not be pleasant? Oh, come on. At this point, we just... Come on with it. We know that everyone's gonna live happily. Follow me. Well. Oh, come on. You cannot teleport us. No. I mean, what did I... Okay, did I really just got stuck here? What is this? Oh, a secret room. There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it? Huh, you're pretty good at hiding stuff, Risley. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. Okay, I need to take a little break.